Hello there. Today you're working on a map scaling worksheet. And this map represents the United States of America. And if you didn't know or you forgot, scaling basically means you're using a larger or smaller object to represent something in the real world. And this map is a smaller version of the United States of America. Because of course you can't carry the United States of America in your pocket. So we create a map to show us things and we use a scale to represent the actual miles or kilometers of the United States. And before we start, I just want to make sure you know we're using kilometers in this worksheet, not miles. If you need miles, use the other worksheet. So again, we're using kilometers in this worksheet. Let's take a look at the directions. The directions say, Superdude plans on taking a much needed vacation and wants to visit a few famous landmarks in the USA. And if you look, you can see all these stars here marked around the United States. And these are the landmarks that Superdude wants to go see. However, he cannot remember exactly where each one is located and the distance between each location. Use the map and scale above to help him find the landmarks and calculate the approximate distance he'll need to travel. The key right here is approximate. Approximate means estimate, not exact. So that means we don't have to be perfect when we solve these problems. We can use an estimate or we can use an approximation. Also draw a line to connect the locations in each problem so he will know where to go and be able to better plan his vacation. So you're supposed to be drawing the lines from one landmark to the other based on the directions or based on the problem. And I highly recommend you use different colors to keep yourself organized. And I think it'll make the worksheet look really cool. And it says right here, note, ask your teacher if he or she wants the answers in miles or kilometers. Again, we're doing kilometers on this worksheet. So we look over here on the key and it says 12 millimeters equals 300 kilometers. And it's marked right here too. But I noticed something. When I printed this worksheet using different printers, the scale actually was not perfect. Sometimes it'd be 11 millimeters, sometimes it'd be 13 millimeters, and it wasn't exactly perfect. And if we look really quickly, you can see we notice that this one is actually just a little off too. Check it out. There is 12 millimeters, but right there is 300 kilometers. So we're just a tiny incy bincy off, but that matters once you get into larger and larger distances. So I think the best way to do this worksheet is actually create your own ruler like this. <laughs> Once you create your ruler, what you can do is you can bring it down to the key and you can line it up like this and you can make your own marks for every 100 kilometers. There's zero, there's 100, 200, 300. Then you can just move it down a little. Here's 400, 500, 600. You can move it again. Here's 700, 800, 900. And you can do this for the entire ruler. So really quick, press pause and create your own ruler. And when you're finished, come back and we'll start on problem number one. Welcome back. So your ruler should kind of look like 
that. And you see how I numbered it? That way I don't have to count all the lines because kilometers make a lot of lines on our ruler. So this should really save us some time. Let's take a look at problem number one. Problem one says, he plans to start his vacation from the Statue of Liberty. And the Statue of Liberty is located on Liberty Island in New York City. Let me move this ruler really quick out of our way so we can see it. Right here is the Statue of Liberty. And he wants to go to Hollywood to visit the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And the Hollywood Walk of Fame is in Hollywood, California, and it's where the stars are permanently placed on the sidewalks to recognize famous entertainers. And Hollywood, California is right here. On the way, he wants to fly over the Grand Canyon National Park for a quick peek. And the Grand Canyon National Park is in Arizona, which must be right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ruler and line it up just like that. And all you have to do is count or just look how far it is. And as you can see, let me clean this up really quick. It's between 39 and 40. And remember, each one of these equals 100 kilometers. So basically, it's 39 with two zeros. Because remember, anything times 100, you just add two zeros. Or you can actually count, and you could say 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500, 1,600, 1,700, 1,800, 1,900, 2,000, 2,100, 2,200, 2,300, 2,400, 2,500, 2,600, 2,700, 2,800, 2,900, 3,000. Wow. 3,100, 3,200, 3,300, 3,400, 3,500, 3,600, 3,700, 3,800, 3,900, 4,000. I hope you get the idea so I don't have to count these anymore. So it's actually between 3,900 and 4,000. And it's right about there. So it's between 3,900 and 4,000, but it's a lot closer to 3,900. So I'd say it's about 3,920. So right here, I'm going to write 3,920 kilometers. KM, short for kilometers. So what I like you to do now is I like you to do problem two and three on your own. When you're finished with them, come back to me so we can check your answers. By the way, if you don't know where something is, hey, you know what? You have the internet, you have a book, you have your mom, you have a friend, you have the dog. You can ask somebody where these locations are and help you out. All right, so don't say, I didn't know where it was and I couldn't do it. At least give it a try and try to find out where they're at. All righty, so I will see you in a bit and we will go over your answers. Welcome back. You were supposed to work on problem two and three. Problem two. After Hollywood, he will go to the Alamo to visit the site of the great 1836 battle for freedom. And the Alamo is located in San Antonio, Texas. So if we come up here, he's going to leave Hollywood, California. And there's the only landmark in Texas. So he's going to go from here to here. Next, it says it will be a great history lesson. However, he also wants something new and fun and will later head over to the largest mall in the USA, Mall America, to ride the SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge. And the Mall of America is located in Bloomington, Minnesota. And there's Minnesota and there must be Bloomington, Minnesota. So after Texas, he's heading up to Minnesota. So we need to pull out our rulers and Here's a ruler from Hollywood to San Antonio, Texas. And here's another one from San Antonio, Texas to Bloomington, Minnesota. And all we need to do is figure out the distance between each landmarks and add them together. So let me get rid of this one. Now, you might be wondering, hey, wait a second. You put the ruler backwards. Well, it doesn't really matter which way you look at the distance. It could be this way or it could be this way. I put it this way because my zero is over here. And I think it'll be easier to calculate the distance. 
So if we look at this one really quick, we can see it's almost between 1,900 or 19, which is the same as 1,900, and 20, which is the same as 2,000. And I'd say it's probably a little closer to 2,000. So probably I would say it's 1,900, maybe 70. Let's use 1,970. Let me erase that so we can get rid of that. Now, if you think, oh no, it's closer to 1,980, that is not a big deal because remember, the questions say approximate. It does not have to be exact. Now, let me get rid of that ruler and let me put in the one from Texas to Minnesota. Let me clean this little circle up so we can see it better. And as you can see, it's like right next to 8. And again, 18 is 1,800, but it's a little less. So it's about 1,700, what do you want to say, 90? Again, you could say 1,780. Honestly, you could probably say 1,800. And if the teacher says anything, you could say, hey, man, it's an estimate. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's close enough, dude. So I'm going to use 1,790. I'm going to add these together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 7 plus 9 is 16. Carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 7 is 17. Carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So I get 3,760 kilometers. So I'm going to write right here. 3,000. 760 kilometers, just like that. Let me clean this up really quick. Get rid of the ruler. Let me erase this. All right, problem number three. Problem three says, Super Dude knows he will be pumped up after the ride and wants to continue his adventure south to New Orleans where he can try Cajun food and stay up all night listening to jazz music. And if you didn't know, New Orleans is located in Louisiana, right there. After all the spices and flavor, he thinks some water might be a good idea and plans to visit Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is located near Buffalo, New York, which is, well, there's New York, so Buffalo, New York's right around there, and it's located near there. And Niagara Falls is one of the most famous waterfalls in the United States, most probably, I think, one of the most visited, too. So he's going from Minnesota, right here, to Louisiana and then he's going up to New York. So we need to place our rulers there, and our rulers will look like this, the one from Minnesota to Louisiana, and the one from Louisiana to New York will look like this one. Let me get rid of that one so we can first do Minnesota to Louisiana. Let me get rid of the circles so we can see it better. And again, as you can see, I did the ruler from Louisiana to Minnesota, which doesn't matter which way you go, the same distance if you go one way or the other. And as you can see, it's really close to 17 or 1,700, but it's bigger. So it's actually between 1,700 and 1,800 kilometers. It's pretty close to 1,700, so maybe let's use 1,720 kilometers. Again, if you want to say 1,730, that's fine. If you want to say 1,700 and make your life really easy, that's perfectly okie dokie too. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> what a dork. All right, let me get rid of this ruler and let me put the other one in back for Louisiana to New York. And as you can see, it's really, really close to 18 just a little smaller, so maybe let's say 1,790 because it's between 1,700 and 1,800, but really close to 1,800. If we add these together, 0 plus 0 is 0, 9 plus 2 is 11, carry the 1, 1 plus 7 plus 7 is 15, 
carry the one, and one plus one plus one is three, so we get 3,510 kilometers. And I'm gonna put that down right here. 3,510 kilometers. And again, KM stands for kilometers. All right, I think that's pretty good. By the way, if you think this is really easy and you think, man, why am I listening to this guy? Well, don't do the worksheet on your own. I'm here to help the people who need help. The people who need help, if I'm going too fast, you can always press pause and rewind and listen to me again. And that's the great thing about having a video. So let's do this. Why don't you try doing problems four, five, and six? When you're done, come back to me and we will check your answers. See you in a bit. Welcome back. We're on problem number four. Problem number four says, after the falls, he thinks another rush will be perfect and plans to visit Yellowstone National Park to watch the buffalo run free. Yellowstone National Park is located in Wyoming, also a little part of Montana and Idaho, but it's mostly in Wyoming. So we look for Wyoming, which is right here, and there is a star, so that must be the landmark. So we're going from Niagara Falls to Wyoming. Next it says, later Super Dude will say hello to George, Thomas, Theodore, and Abraham at Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is located in the Black Hills of South Dakota. It's where they carved the president's faces in the stone to show some respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect. And South Dakota is right there, so that must be Mount Rushmore. So your rulers will be here and here. Let me clean this up a little bit and get rid of this ruler so we can first calculate how far it is from New York to Wyoming or Yellowstone National Park. And if we look, it's between 24 and 25, and 24 is 2,400, and 25 is 2,500, and if we look closely, it's really close to 25, so probably what, 2,490, let's go with that one, 2,490, 2,490, let's get rid of that ruler, and then after watching the buffalo, he's going to Mount Rushmore, which would be right there. And that is really close to five, just a little past it. So it's between 500 and 600, but closer to five. So why don't we do 520? If we add this up, zero plus zero is zero. Nine plus two is 11, carry the one. 1 plus 4 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1, and 1 plus 2 is 3, so we get 3,010 kilometers for problem number 4. Let me erase that and clean it up a little so I can write it in. 3,010 kilometers. And we're going to problem number 5. Problem 5 says, he wants to finish his sightseeing of the West Coast and plans to visit the Space Needle, which was built for the 1962 World's Fair. And the Space Needle is located in Seattle, Washington, on the West Coast. So there's Washington on the West Coast, so that must be where the Space Needle is. After that, it says... He wants to go to the Golden Gate Bridge, which is one of the longest and most beautiful suspension bridges in the world. And the Golden Gate Bridge is located in San Francisco, California, which would be right here. So he's going to go from Washington to California. After that, it says, and Las Vegas, which is famous for its shows. I think people say, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. 
and Las Vegas is located in Nevada. So after San Francisco, he is going to Las Vegas in Nevada. Right there. All right, so if you put your rulers in for problem number five, it would look something like that. But we don't want all the rulers in right now, so let's just delete these two right here. So we just have this one. Let me clean this up a little bit so it's not so messy and we can see our rulers. And if we look at Yellowstone to Seattle, it's just a little past 15, between 15 and 16, or 1,500 and 1,600 kilometers. It's really close to 15, so we could use 1,510, 1,520. I don't know, I think I'm just going to use 1,510 for that. After that, he goes to San Francisco. And there's the ruler for that. And it's really close to 11. So it's between 1,000 and 1,100. I would probably say 1,090 because it's really close to 1,100. And then after that, he is going to Las Vegas. And that is after 6, just a little past 6. So six is 600, so maybe 610. And we will add these up to get the total distance of this part of his trip. Let me just draw a line like that, and I'll write in this empty space right here. Zero plus zero plus zero is zero. One plus nine plus one is 11, carry the one. One plus five is six, plus six is 12, carry the one, and one plus one plus one is three. So I get 3,210 kilometers. And I'm gonna write 3,210 kilometers for problem number five. 3,210, the comma right there, oh, there's supposed to be a comma, kilometers. Let me clean that up really quick, and we'll get to the last problem. Last problem, number six. He plans on saying hello to his friend Elvis Presley, Mr. Presley at Graceland. Well, 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 thank you very much, everybody. If you don't know who Elvis Presley is, here's a little sample just for you. And Graceland's located in Memphis, Tennessee, which is right there. And after saying hello to Mr. Elvis Presley, next it says, and stopping at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, and that's Huntsville, Alabama, which is one of the first places we started building rockets. Pretty cool place to see. Shows you how small you are when you're standing next to one of those giant rockets. And that's located in Huntsville, Alabama, right there. So basically, he's just going from Memphis to Huntsville, Alabama. It's like a skip for Super Dude. And after that, he is going. It says, finally, he wants to get some sun in Key West. Hopefully, he doesn't want to get too much sun. He might get skin cancer, but I guess Super Dude, so super he doesn't get skin cancer. But he's going to go to Key West, which is located in southern Florida. It's a bunch of little islands, which is right there. So he's going to go from Huntsville, Alabama to Key West. And finally, it says, and end his vacation relaxing at the White House. The White House is where the president hangs out in Washington, D.C., which, if you didn't know, is the capital of the United States of America and located right there. So he's going to hang out with the Prez, have a couple drinks on the lawn, and enjoy himself to finish off his vacation. Let me clean these out of the way really quick before we put in our rulers. So we put in our rulers, and we're going to have rulers from... Las Vegas, Nevada to Memphis, Tennessee, which is right there. Then we're going from Memphis, Tennessee to Huntsville, Alabama, right there. Then we're going from Huntsville, Alabama to Key West, right there. And then we're going from Key West to Washington, D.C. A lot of rulers. 
Let me clean all them up except for the first one. So the first one from Las Vegas to Memphis, Tennessee, it's just a little more than 23 or 2,300. So let's say 2,310. Let me get rid of that ruler and put the next one in, the little skip he's gonna do from Memphis, Tennessee to Huntsville, Alabama, which is just a little less than three or 300, maybe 290, 280, I don't know, let's go with 280. Get rid of that ruler. Then after that, he's going from Huntsville, Alabama to Key West, which is just a little more than 12 or 1,200. So that'll probably be what, 1,210, 1,220. I don't know, let's go with 1,210. And then last, he's going from Key West to Washington, D.C., which is almost exactly 16, which would be 1,600 kilometers. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry about that. I wrote in the writing. So we got 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 8 plus 1 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 2 is 6. Plus 2 is 8 plus 6 is 14, carry the 1, and 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so we get approximately 5,400 kilometers. So we come down here, and we write 5,400 kilometers. I think I'm just going to write it right on the top. There's no space on the bottom, so we're going to write 5,400. 400 kilometers and guess what we are finished i hope i helped and i will see you next time bye bye